Healthcare as a service has evolved constantly over the years, ever since before the days of ancient Greece and the days of the father of medicine, Hippocrates. Healthcare has evolved further past those days with the advent of antibiotics and vaccines. And now today, healthcare still stands to evolve further. The United States Veterans Affairs, or the VA for short, is in charge of the healthcare of over 9 million veterans in the United States. Recently, the VA has attempted to evolve the landscape of the healthcare system with their new Whole Health Project. But just what is the Whole Health Program, and what do people think of it? So, can you please introduce yourself? I'm Cassandra Towns. All right, and what, uh, what is it that you do at the VA? I'm the Whole Health Program Manager, and I'm also a um, Whole Health Coaching Implementation Champion for the Office of Patient Centered Care and Cultural Transformation. Uh, my name is Jessica Hennessy. All righty, and, uh, and what do you do at the VA? Um, I am a field implementation team consultant for the Office of Patient-Centered Care and Cultural Transformation for the VA. My name is John Reef. Uh, I am a senior at Toba High School. That's about it. Alrighty, and if I'm correct, John Reef, uh, your parents are both veterans, are they not? They are. And your dad works at the VA? My dad does work at the VA as a nurse in dermatology. Please. I am Devin Pabueno Aquino. Interesting. Uh, what do you know about the uh, VA as a whole? I know that the VA takes care of veterans and that they have a research department somewhere. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool what they're doing. What I'm here to ask you today about is thoughts and opinions on what's called the VA's Whole Health Program. And the Toma VA is one of the uh, sort of first VAs to actually start doing this. Uh, do you know anything about the Whole Health Program? I have not a clue what that is. I don't even really know what that entails. Do you know anything in particular about our Toma VA, or is that still just lumped in the whole? I know nothing about the Toma VA other than it's really hard to drive in there. Could you do me a favor and explain what Whole Health is? Whole Health is a system of health care. Um, so the the current um, model of healthcare is, kind of, is the medical model, and really that's kind of a find it, fix it type healthcare system. What Whole Health does is it uses um, different approaches to healthcare um, to empower and equip um, patients to be kind of at the center of their healthcare. And so some of that is things like Whole Health Coaching where patients set um, health goals and they work with their providers and their healthcare team on those. Another component of it is really well-being programming, and that are, that is things like doing yoga and tai chi, or using alternative methods like acupuncture and energy therapies like healing touch. Um, really, kind of um, building a toolbox for providers to individualize care for the veterans that they're taking care of, um, and finding an opportunity to identify identify a really proactive, personalized approach to healthcare. But at its core, it's that we as a healthcare team are asking about and integrating what matters most to you in your life into your medical care. Um, it's really a holistic approach, looking at someone as a whole person um, and including everything from your clinical care to more wellness related services and opportunities, and then also pathways of partnering with you um, in your healthcare journey and really um, incorporating your mission, aspiration, purpose, and your personal values into your um, healthcare plan. This is in what is called the circle of health, which encompasses a couple of key elements, those being yourself, self-care, professional care, and community. Found within these key elements are about eight core ideas as to what core whole health is about. These ideas are mindful awareness, moving the body, surroundings, personal development, food and drink, recharging, family, friends, and coworkers, and the spirit and soul. Wow, I had no idea the VA's whole health program featured physical movements such as walking, yoga, or tai chi, eating and drinking healthy, and helping you to be aware of and process your inner thoughts and feelings. I thought it was a scam. Alrighty, and so far how many VAs have implemented the whole health program? All VAs nationwide are required to have some aspects of whole health. They're required to have what's called list one services. It's directive driven. So there are certain complementary integrative health services that fall under the umbrella of whole health that are required at all facilities. However, there were 18 flagship facilities nationwide that received additional grant funding to implement this style of care uh, prior to the rest of the facilities. So components at all, but robust at about 18 to 20. In your words, how well would you say the program works? 
Um, whole health has, there, there's evidence to support the, the transformation of healthcare. Um, so if you ask me, does it work? My answer is yes. Um, and that is when we look at things um, like patient outcomes that go beyond just what, what we call biomarkers um, and to really like, what is the well-being? How, you know, how are we approaching health and well-being of patients and how are we um, empowering them to do the work outside of a medical appointment to impact their health and well-being? So um, we are seeing great, great outcomes for, for healthcare um, reduction in costs and and just improved quality of life. Uh, yes, and there's a lot of new research and data coming out um, that supports that. Patients feel that their care is more patient-centered. They have a greater decrease in their use of opioids if they're actively engaged in the whole health system, um, that they're more satisfied with their health care experience. Um, and certainly we're looking forward to more of the long-term research coming out about health-related outcomes. But all the components of a whole health system are evidence-based and are based in research of what does help promote health and wellness. So we look forward to seeing those results when they come. All right, and then so I guess what are your hopes for the whole health program going forward? Ooh, it's like a, that's an exciting question. Um, I hope for it to spread consistently across VAs. Um, I hope for leadership support at all facilities because that's what will really help transpire it um, and help it be a cultural transformation where we all as a healthcare team, as an entire system, as the biggest healthcare system in the United States, are all looking at patients not in a what's the matter with you focus or what's wrong with you, what's your disease to um, what matters to you, what's most important to you, what do you want your health for, what can we do to support you in living your best life. Um, you know, I kind of joke, it's if we, we have a, a friend whose wife is a bit squirrely and um, she makes comments like, I'm living my best life, but like, <laughs> but we want everyone to live their best life, right? And so um, that's getting a lot more from your healthcare than what we current or what we've previously offered. And we're really looking to get to where people do feel like they're living their best life and we're there to support them in that. So long term, um the hope with the whole health system is that we can show its benefits um, to not only veterans, but really um, what it could mean for the healthcare system in the United States. Really, can we look at this model as an example of something that works to empower people to take control of their own health and well being? And, and giving them different tools to um, focus on some of their own self-care and those types of things. So kind of the long-term goal would be that it doesn't only transform healthcare within the VA healthcare system, but that it becomes kind of the way that we provide healthcare within, within our country. I guess just as a final question, is this something you'd hope to see not just implemented like blanket across say the VAs, but as like the healthcare in America as a whole? I would certainly hope so because it's the right thing to do. It's looking at someone as a whole person and saying, what can we do to support you as a human, not just um, treatment of one specific disease. And looking at someone from a whole person wellness standpoint helps prevent the disease in the first place or helps them better manage and um, emotionally manage that disease if it does come, at which point it would probably also come at a later date. Um, so you know, everybody wins. It costs less for insurance. It's people are healthier and happier and more fulfilled in their lives. And if people are more fulfilled in their lives and um, active in the present moment that they're in, I think that we would all um, benefit greatly from that as a society. The United States spends the most out of any country on health care, but is only ranked 35th globally for health care. Clearly something is out of order here, and it, perhaps it begins with our approach to health care. Now that you know more about the VA's he whole health program, would you be interested in seeing this program enlarged across not even just the VA, but the health sector as a whole? Anything is better than whatever we have now. Hopefully the whole health program leads to the fruition of something great in the United States. While the program is still in a relative infancy, the data seems to indicate the, that the program works. Maybe we'll one day be able to see it available for the general public.